Today we're checking out Who Killed the Rainbow Friends, cartoon animation by Game Tunes. Let's dive right on in. That's it's red. I I can just see that eyeball. Supposed to get any beauty sleep with all this racket? Hmm. Then again, it's a great excuse for a midnight snack. Uh oh. There goes the power. Oh, yeah, baby. Give oranges tasty treats. Oh, come on. Why is the power going out? I'm starving over here. Oh. Hey, who's that? Is someone there? Who is that? It's too late at night for any weird pranks, so cut it out. Seriously, if you're some dumb teenager looking for a spook, I'm not in the mood. Huh? Hmm? Ah. Ah. hmm. Oh, the cops. That was the first time I had ever been to the Rainbow Friends Play Place. I had always wanted to go as a kid. I begged my parents to take me there every year for my birthday, though we never had the money. Of course, that was when they were just people in costumes. Now I'm glad I never went. This place is evil, yeah. rotten to the core. We arrived as soon as we could, but it was already too late. Orange was dead, and I'll tell you one thing right now. I don't care how long you've been on the force, it never gets any easier. To make matters worse, he wasn't the only one. Green, purple, even blue. Oh, the rainbow friends are gone. I thought we were going to be dealing with some kind of criminal mastermind. But here you were, yeah. just laying on the floor. Red. Murder weapon close by your side. It's an open and shut case, Red. You wanted revenge for the other rainbow friends turning you into this horrifying bug-eyed freak. I'd be mad too, because mm -hmm. you are one ugly son of a gun. That's enough, detective. So why don't you just make this a heck of a lot simpler for me, you, and everyone else in the precinct, and just confess, you killed the rainbow friends. No, I swear, I'm an innocent man. Listen here, pal. If there's one thing in this world I know with 100% confidence, hmm. then you aren't innocent or a man. You're a guilty killer mutant, and I won't stop until you're rotted behind bars. I was a jailbreak cop for years before joining the server. I'm gonna make sure you never see the sun again. You hear me? Hmm. Huh? Detective, please. My point being, we got motive. We also got the weapon. And soon, we'll have the autopsy reports. That's all we need for a conviction, Red. And some. So. You better start talking, because your whole story isn't making a whole yeah, lot of sense. Yeah, your career is about to Fine. end. I'll tell you everything I know. The first thing I remember was a very loud scream. My private quarters are decently soundproofed, and I was still a bit hazy from having just woken up. But I could recognize the voice very vividly. It was unmistakably orange. Yeah. I ran as fast as I could to the security monitors, which can run on backup battery power. When I turned them on, I couldn't believe my eyes. Orange was dead, in his yeah. own hideout no less. I flipped through the camera feed to search for answers. It was dark and hard to see, but somebody, or something, that looked exactly like me was running through the halls. They were holding a knife in their hand. So is it an impersonator? Uh -huh. So you're saying someone impersonating you killed the Rainbow Friends? It would appear so. I'm not buying Yeah. That. We saw those tapes Maybe too. Maybe it's like a frame right. or something. It looks exactly like you. But that doesn't really help your case now, does it, Hotshot? What happened next? It was going to be impossible to find answers in the dark, so I needed to reboot the generator. I was on my way there when I heard... Oh. That's where I found victim number two, Green, Green, dead on the ground. He always enjoyed that room for some reason. Maybe it was the rhythmic hum of the electronics. That's where I saw a glimpse of the killer rushing out of the room. Who was I it? I contemplated chasing him down, but I knew I needed to get the generator up and running again. 
He needed the darkness to carry out his plans. Unfortunately, our killer knew this all too well. He sabotaged the generator oh, to make sure the not the generator. So it's going to be for dark night. forever. It was time to take matters into my own hands and find the others before he did. I searched up and down all around the facility with no luck until I ran the direction of the scream all the way to Hamlock Woods, and sure enough, right on the bridge, I see him. Victim number three. Purple. Purple. He'd often visit the river ride and splash around in the water. That's why there was always puddles outside our vents. Then I saw our killer again. He was making a break for it downstream in one of the log boats. I wasn't Who is going it, to let though? him get away this time. I hopped in another boat and gave chase. I paddled and paddled as fast as I could, but he always remained just out of my sight, in the shadows. Ooh. I followed him to the end of the line. He should have been cornered, totally trapped, but he was nowhere to be found. It's like he vanished into thin air. Yep. In fact, the only thing I did find was Boo's body floating in the water. That was it. No killer apprehended, no more rainbow friends to save. Having exhausted all leads, I went back to my office and called you all. Told you there had been an accident and to come quick. That's the last thing I remember until... Next thing I knew, you all were putting me in handcuffs. And that's the whole story. So... Wow. You really got a lot of nerve coming up with a wackadoodle story like that. What do you take me for? Some kind of moron? There are only five rainbow friends. The four of them are dead. It doesn't take a rocket surgeon to figure out who's responsible here. I... Ah. Uh, Excuse me, detective? Ah, come on. He was just about what? to crack. But we just got the autopsy reports back. Turns out, those bodies we found weren't bodies at all. They were just really lifelike suits. What? That can't possibly be correct. Run the test again. Go! Yes, sir. Wait, remember what you said earlier? Of course, that was when they were just people in costumes. Play Place used to use realistic Rainbow Friend suits. So no one actually died? Of course they did! You're just some sicko that replaced the bodies. We still found you next to the murder weapon. No, think about it. We followed wet footprints into Red's office. But Red never got wet. He never went in the water. The only person who did was... Blue! Blue. Oh my god. I know what happened. Blue must have discovered the old suit somewhere, including one for Red, and came up with a scheme to frame him. He'd always wanted revenge for you turning him into a monster, so he waited for a yeah. night where your power would inevitably shut off to put on the Red costume, proceeded to capture each one of the Rainbow Friends one by one, replacing them with fakes. Smart cops. Perfect crime. All the security camera footage will point to Red says the darkness hit his face, and he even made sure to keep you alive the whole time and leave the knife next to your unconscious body. Yep, clearly Blue is the man responsible here. Thanks for all your help, officer. Without you, I never would have solved this thing. So you're going to arrest him? For what? Not killing anyone? We save that for actual killers. What? Oh, it's Roblox Piggy! That's a twist if I've ever seen one. <laughs>